welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going, we are going to start with a new chapter which is circle this is the sixth chapter in your textbook and uh, it's a very easy chapter various concepts relative to circle like uh, center of the circle radius diameter circumference arc all these things we have already studied in the lower class we have also studied certain properties related to the various parts of the circle in the previous classes and today what we are going to do is we are going to learn the theorems or the proof of those properties uh, so let us understand what the property we are going to study the first property the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord i hope you all are aware of the word perpendicular yes now perpendicular is something which makes an angle of 90 degrees center of the circle we all are aware of and the chord bisects means it divides it into two equal parts so let us understand the proof now the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to a chord bisects the chord so this is our statement so where is the perpendicular children see here ox is the perpendicular ab is the chord what the statement says is that this ox is going to divide this ab into two equal parts this is what is the meaning of the statement that if we have a perpendicular how do we understand if there is a perpendicular by this 90 degree symbol okay which we see now so whenever there is a perpendicular which is going from the center to the chord then the chord will get divided into two equal parts so how are we going to prove this we are going to apply this general statement to our figure so always the first part of your statement okay the first half part of the statement is your given and the later part is the proof to prove right so what is given that there the perpendicular from the center of the circle is given okay so there is a perpendicular from where from the center of the circle and to where to the chord so this is what is given to you so we say that o is the center of the circle ab is the chord and there is a perpendicular so we say ox is perpendicular to ab what we have to prove is the next half of the statement which is bisects the chord means bisects means dividing into two equal parts so what we have to prove is that ax is equal to xb which is your next uh, to prove right now how do we prove that ax is equal to xb if i make a construction by joining oa and ob i get two triangles and if by any test of congruence if i prove these two triangles congruent i can say that ax is equal to xb okay now there are various test of congruency like sss sas sas hypotenuse side test all these test okay now when now if you look at this figure you see that there are two right angles uh, right angle triangles how do we understand that by looking at this 90 degree symbol right so normally hypotenuse side test is uh, applicable to the uh, uh, 90 degree triangle is it is applicable to a right angle triangle so let us check whether we have any hypotenuse and one side congruent here if i get one hypotenuse and one side congruent i can say that these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test so in this figure where is the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the side which is always opposite to a right angle okay so here the right angles are oxa and oxb so whichever are the sides opposite to angle oxa and angle oxb are the hypotenuse so the side opposite to ox is oa and the side opposite to angle oxb is ob so if i say get oa and ob congruent i will get hypotenuse congruent right so oa and ob are going to be congruent because they are the radii of the circle if you see they are the radii of this circle right and the radius of the circle is always same so i will say that oa is equal to ob because both are radius secondly ox is equal to ox because it is a common side to both the triangle yes so that is what i'll write down here so i've got one hypotenuse and one side congruent 
and when I get this, I will say that the both the triangles are congruent by hypotenuse right test. And when these two triangles become congruent by hypotenuse right test, I say that AX is equal to XB. Yes, and this is what we are supposed to prove. Now, let us move towards the second theorem, which is opposite of what we have studied now. Well, now, what we have studied is that there is a perpendicular, so chord will get bisected. And then next theorem, the chord will already be bisected. You have to prove that the that the line is perpendicular. So it is opposite of what we have studied now. Let us see. The line drawn from the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. So as I have told you, the first half is always given and the second half of the statement is to prove. Right? So let us have a look. Now. The line drawn from the center of a circle uh, to a center of the circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to a chord. So this is already bisected. This is the center of the circle. This is a line. What we have to prove that angle OXB or angle OXA is equal to 90 degrees. Or else in other words we can say that we have to prove that OX is perpendicular to AB. So first thing that we'll write here is whatever is given. So O is the center of the circle, AB is a chord and EX is equal to X, which is already there. Okay, what we have to prove is that OX is perpendicular to AB. This is what we have to prove. So again, I'll make a construction. OA is equal to OB. I'll get because it is the radii of the circle. Secondly, I'll get OX and OX common. And third, AX is equal to XB because they are given that they are congruent, right? So, if I look here, I have 3, 1, 2 and 3. 3 sides, pair, 3 pair of sides congruent. So, I say that these two triangles, triangle o, AOX and triangle BOX are congruent by SSS test. Yes, once these two triangles become congruent by SSS test, we can say that angle OXA and angle OXB are equal. Because whenever two side triangles are congruent, their remaining sides and remaining pair of corresponding angles automatically become congruent. But in this tri two triangles, the sides we have already used, all these three sides too. Yes, so there is no side left. But all the angles, like angle A will be congruent to angle B, angle AOX will be congruent to angle BOX, and angle OXA will be congruent to angle OX. That the reason will be CACT. No? Now, Okay, so once we get these two triangles congruent, we still cannot prove that it is 90 degree because they are just equal. But we say that AB is a line, yes, and therefore angle AXO and angle BXO form a linear pair. When is a linear pair formed, children? The linear pair is formed when there is a straight line and the two angles are adjacent to each other. Yes, that is called as a linear line. Line, can you see this line? Linear means line. So when two angles are adjacent to each other and they are add, making a line or they are adding up to 180 degrees, it is called as a linear pair. So I will say angle AXO plus angle BXO is equal to 180 degrees. Yes, but angle AXO and angle BXO are equal. We have already proved these two angles are equal. Yes, so I will write angle AXO plus angle AXO is equal to 180 degrees. And I also give the reason from 1. Now, since there are two AX, so I write on angle 2 angle AX, so is equal to 180. This 2 has been multiplied here, 2 into A angle AX. So. so, when it will come here, it will get divided. So, 180 by 2 will be 90. And therefore, I will get angle AX, so equal to angle BX, so is equal to 90 degrees. So, the measure of both these angles is 90 and 90 each. And therefore, we say that OX becomes perpendicular to AB. And hence, our theorem is proved. Thank you.